My typical formula starts with a nine foot butt section. Then I add three feet of transition material, usually in the form of suffix elite or some sort of colored monofilament that's not as bright as a cider. Then I add 18 inches of cider material, and typically for this I use Cortland Indicator Mono. Beyond my cider, or connected to the end of my cider, I have a tippet ring. Then I typically add about four feet of tippet to my first fly. Use a triple surgeon's knot with the dropper coming from the piece connected to my rod. Make a six inch dropper tag and add about two feet of tippet to my second fly, if I'm fishing two. If you combine the butt section, the transition material, the, the cider, and the tippet, you're looking at a leader that's about 19 and a half feet. That sounds like a drastically long leader to most people. But because you're not usually casting fly line out the tip of the rod, it's really not as long as you might think. One of the things you might notice about my leader formulas is that the butt section is typified by a long level section. I really prefer not having any knots in my butt section so that it doesn't catch in my guides while I'm making casts or landing fish. So that flat level butt section with no knots goes through my guides very smoothly and I'm able to cast at distance with very lightweight and still able to shoot line. My favorite leader setup consists of Maxima Chameleon starting at 20 pound, which is 0.017 diameter, followed by 15 pound and 12 pound, also of Maxi Maxima Chameleon. By creating my own leader, rather than buying a commercially available taper leader, I dictate the diameters of both the butt section and the thin tippet section. I then connect a piece of cider material to the 12 pound. For my cider material, I prefer 013 or 014 diameter Cortland indicator mono. I really like the bicolor because I find that in various light conditions, I can almost always see one of the two colors. Extending from the cider, we use nothing but thin tippet. For most of my rigs, I use four, five, or six X tippet all the way down from the cider to the flies. I vary the distances based on conditions but most of the time find that five to six feet to first fly and two, two feet between flies is ideal for my way of rigging. 